what is what is your purpose? What is your goal? So my goal is to live a more balanced lifestyle. Okay. Can you uh, specify? Yes. So right now I feel like I spend most of my time working mm -hmm. and studying, mm -hmm. and I would like to make sure that I'm also taking care of myself. So I guess my goal is to um, have a little bit of time each day for me, where I'm not on, you know, just thinking about work or study or internship. Mm -hmm. Just a few minutes every day where I can take some time for myself. Minutes, you say? Maybe 30 minutes, an hour. Okay. Right now I feel like even every meal, you know, I'm eating while I'm walking to school, I'm doing work over lunch, I'm having dinner as a meeting, even if it's just a meal for myself, or I just want some time where I'm like, okay, this is time to relax for a second. Okay. Um, and how is, how is your current life looking like? Mm -hmm. like what, what is the current state looking like since you don't have those minutes? Yeah, um, I feel like I wake up at 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. and I'm working until 10 p.m. and then I go home and go to bed and sleep. And there's very little room, and even on the weekends, and I'm at school trying to catch up or trying to get ready for the next week. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm just exhausted. Like, my brain is dead. And um, I feel like I'm not as positive or happy as I was when I first got here just because I've put so many responsibilities on myself. Mm -hmm. I'm just overcommitted and I spread myself too thin. So what are you specific every day using your time? What am I specifically doing? Yeah. So, um, school, internship, my student club, the Holt Prize, and um, that pretty much takes up everything. <laughs> A couple of, you know, random things come up here and there, but for the most part. Okay. So... Right now, you say you you are working a lot. You don't have any free time for yourself. You are spending time with school, internship, and whole price. Um, and you want to have more time for yourself. That is your goal, at least thirty minutes a day. Mm -hmm. So, how how can you achieve this? Mm -hmm. How can you achieve getting more time for yourself? Well, the hardest thing would be um, like withdrawing from one of my responsibilities. Mm -hmm. So not doing something anymore altogether. Or I could um, be less involved in one of the activities mm -hmm. or in a couple of them. So I'm pretty active in all of them. So school, you know, I'm 110%. My internship, I work as much as I can. So anytime I'm not in school, nine to five, I'm at my internship. Um, I'm president of the student club and the Holt Prize. I'm really involved in the Holt Prize. So I could have another member on my executive board for the whole, or for the my student club mm -hmm. to help with some responsibilities. I could work less hours. Right now I'm working like 15 hours, so it's a lot. At internship. At my internship. So I could work just 10 hours or eight hours. And is this uh, realistic? How realistic do you feel that goal? Working less? Yeah, from your internship side. It's, yeah, it's, it's really flexible. My boss, he's awesome with everything. Mm -hmm. I guess just for me, because it's such a unique internship that was really hard to get and really hard to get my clearance for it. I'm like, I want every minute I can get out of it, you know? So it is realistic to do less. I just want to do more, you know. Mm -hmm. So. So what is your if you should try and rank your priorities mm -hmm. in 
school and internship or press club. Mm -hmm. Those are the four major time consuming things, right? Mm -hmm. So what is your priority? School. School. Then my internship and then my student club and then the whole press. Okay. Um, so whole press come last. Why is this less You know, I had like a little crisis at the beginning of the year because I didn't know which was more important, the whole prize or my student club. But I realized like the student club was something that I've been planning on doing for a year. <laughs> I put so much thought into it and researched it so much and like, I knew exactly why I wanted to do it and what I wanted to get out of it. And the whole prize, I wasn't planning on doing it until someone asked me to be on their team. And so then I was like, okay. Um, and both align with my long-term career goals. So it was really hard for me to break them. But then I realized the whole prize has a really high reward, but it's really also really high risk. So for me, with the student club, it's more like, it's my own creation. So it's safer on, in terms of what I'm gonna get out of it. Whereas with the whole prize, we only continue as long as we do well. So for me, I'm there to be a part of it, but my club, I decided to put more into my club because I think the reward is more certain than the reward from the whole prize. Okay. Could you um, be less involved in the whole prize? Is that a possibility? I could. It feels really weird because as you know, I'm usually like on top of everything whenever I'm involved in something. Mm -hmm. So it would feel weird to be like one of the less, like a member who contributes less than the others. Mm -hmm. um, but I've kind of started doing that a little bit. Like I don't set the meetings, I don't set the agenda. I just do what's asked of me. So I'm starting to, it's really weird though, mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm starting to. Okay, so maybe from that you can find extra minutes and time for yourself in the day. Mm -hmm. What other options could be in order for you to find more time during the day for yourself? Yeah, um, well, I really love my roommates mm -hmm. and we're all there usually at night anyway. So it would be pretty easy to tell myself like, okay, my bedtime is this time at night and then just say 30 minutes before I have to be home just so I have 30 minutes with my roommates. Mm -hmm. So then I carve out that time of, okay, like I know I'm working on this paper, but I told myself at 10 o'clock I would go home so I have 30 minutes to be with my roommates before I go to bed. Okay. So then it's like a mandatory, at this time you have to stop doing anything related to anything and just go home and be with your roommates for a little bit and then go to sleep. So what you're saying is you also want not only time for yourself, but also time with your roommates. Yeah, I guess I consider that as time for myself, too. Okay. Like, anything not related to work. Or like, you know, you know, your brain just is thinking and being critical and analytical. Mm -hmm. Just time to not be like that. Just to be fine. So social life? It could be social life. It could be being alone. Mm -hmm. Journaling, reading, listening to music. Just something that's not related to work. Okay. So right now you have given me two options. You have given me an option that's being less involved in the whole price, not being on top. And you have given a also less involved in the club, having other people on the member board to do take some of the workload from you. And going home 30 minutes earlier to your roommates to hang out with them. Which one is the most realistic you're going to do? Like right now? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Oh, what is the deadline? When is the deadline for when you get busy in your life? Today. Today, so you start, start right now. now. <laughs> you want to start right now? Yeah. Okay, so do you have more options than the, the three I mentioned? 
Yeah, I think maybe one of my meals, like I got to tell myself, one yes. meal a day has to be a non-work meal. So mm -hmm. that would be easy because I have to eat. I might as well eat and not work. You know, I can eat with a friend, like a fun lunch or something like that, mm -hmm. once a day. Or I could do like maybe once a week, I have a 30 minutes before my bedtime, which is friend time. Mm -hmm. And then once a week, I have a meal one day with a friend or alone, just a non-work meal. So I designate today is my bedtime or like my 30 minutes before bedtime day, and then this day is my meal with a friend day. Okay. Does that make sense? But you started out with saying once a day a <laughs> non-work meal, and now you say once a week. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Maybe once a day is too much. Too much? Why do you, Maybe think, I think, why do you think it's too much? Well... Maybe I have to ease into it because if I start right away, then maybe I'll get more stressed out because mm -hmm. I'm used to having more time to do things. Mm -hmm. and then maybe I'll feel like behind. I think I need to do a combination of all of this. Combination? Yeah. Okay. Like, I like the once a week, the, the meal once a week, the bedtime thing, and then also restricting my hours, my internship. I think I should only do 10 hours max. 10 hours? Yeah. What is your cure? What was the cure? 12 hours? It's like 15, I think. 15 now? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then the commute. I have an hour commute each way. So maybe less day? One less day? Maybe 10 hours. And I can only go to the office when I'm working at least four hours that day. Because sometimes I go just for two hours. So I commute an hour down and an hour back just to be there for two hours. So that's way too much time and transportation that I could be doing something else, more okay. productive. I think that's a good good start. So what can you do from now? Like, what can you actually do right now? Yeah. I can text my roommates mm -hmm. and tell them that once a week I want to have roomy time mm -hmm. and just see if they're available and then they're available. Okay, so you will do that today? Yeah. What's the deadline for that? Okay? Like, once okay. we're finished with this. Okay, and then we have the work lesson internship. Mm -hmm. What can you actually do? So I already told them I was leaving for break, mm -hmm. and I haven't given them my hours yet for when I return. Mm -hmm. So as soon as I get our schedule for Mod B, then I can tell them. My new hours. So once I tell them my new hours, just make sure I'm only doing a max of 10 hours. Okay. So you will make sure when you get the new schedule that you will tell them maximum 10 hours per week. Yes. That is five hours more weekly for yourself. Yeah. Whoa. Plus transportation. Plus All transportation. Around. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm floating already just thinking about it. So, and the roommate is per month, or uh, no, per week. Yeah. Um, so you text your roommate, you have after schedule max tower 10 hours. Mm -hmm. um, then you mentioned something about the uh, club. Yes. Getting less involved. Yes. Less, have less workload. What can you do? Um, so I could get another executive board member. Um, it's just hard because I like to do everything. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, my mom always raised me saying, if you want something done right, you have to do it yourself. <laughs> so it's sometimes hard for me to delegate. Yeah. So um, I guess I can talk to my two other executive board members mm -hmm. and we can brainstorm some people who we think would be a good fit. Mm -hmm. And then I'm not just relying on my own opinion, but I think they can help me decision too. So we have our next executive board meeting tomorrow. So I can bring it up to them and we can discuss what we think about that. Okay. And these different goals, they are realistic? We are going to do it? It's realistic? You will do it? Definitely the internship. internship. I'm going to sure. do that as soon as possible. And the 30 minutes, the 30 minutes a week will be good because my roommates will hold me accountable. And I know they like to have some time to hang out too. 
and then with the eboard member, we'll see how the other two eboard members feel about another person. Okay, I think this is a good start. You will get thirty minutes a week, and you will get five, five hours per week next year. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's see for the next meeting <laughs> how it went. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>